<clears throat> we good? All right, what's up, y'all? This is day number three of the 7 for 7 challenge. And today we're talking about dynamic duos. It should be cool. I know there are a lot of dynamic duos in the current NBA, but I wonder if this compilation is going to have, like, throwbacks and everything. Are well, we going to see some Michael and Scotty? Are we going to see Worthy and Magic? Are we going to see Gary Payton, Sean Kemp? Either way, I'll see how, how it goes. I mean, it starts off with probably the best duo in the NBA right now. James Harden and AD. Oh, it says Jaron Jackson Jr. and John Moran. Now, this has potential to be one of the greatest duos in the future of the NBA, bro. I love this duo, man. I just think they play very well together. I, I cannot wait to... Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's going to spoil something. There it is. There it is. Four years together in Miami and then multiple, multiple All-Star games on the same team. James Harden, Russell Westbrook looking good. Looking good. Now, this is one of the newer, the newer dynamic duos, even though... Even though they're one of the newer dynamic duos, they're one of the older dynamic duos too. You see what I'm saying? Okay, see, and then put them back together now. Either way, great lob, great lob. Back to the All Star game. Oh, another dynamic duo won a championship together. Speaking of that, tonight, as you're watching this at 7 Central Time, 7 o'clock Central Time, I'm going to be live re watching game seven of the 2016 NBA Finals on Twitch, House of Highlights on Twitch at 7 o'clock. Please come out. Game seven of 2016. Yeah, that dynamic duo was in it. So if that sounds interesting, every Tuesday on House of Highlights, I rewatch an NBA game, and that's the game we were watching today. One of the greatest games ever. All right. Oh, yeah, this is another future one. This is another future one. Hey, man, they've only played together like 15 or so games, but there are so many alley-oop highlights between the two. Joel and Big Ben, Benny Ben Ben. A windmill from a seven-footer. I'm telling you, every time I see that, I'm like, it don't. I'm tired of it. I'm tired. The creator of this has to be a Charlotte Hornets fan. Malik Monk dynamic duo? He's got to be a Charlotte Hornets fan. This is a dynamic duo. Every, every other highlight we've seen has to do with all-stars, future Hall of Famers, everything. And then we get Malik Monk and Miles Bridges. Either way. Who was that? Who threw that? I wasn't even paying attention. Who threw that last lob? Because, I mean, now, I think we're now in the realm of craziness. DeAndre Jordan is dynamic duos with who? Spencer Dinwiddie? Nets fans, let me know. Is this a real connection all season? Because I don't remember it. I don't remember it. Sabonis. Sabonis and VO. Now, now I think this is a good. I think that could be a good one too. I think that could be good. Trey Young and Jock Hollins, the future. You know that Squidward meme where he, yeah, future. Yes, that's what that is. I was gonna say the same thing. How many of these highlights were the big man, the one throwing the lob to the guard type player? That's how good Bam Adebayo is when it comes to his playmaking. Back to LeBron and AD. Just be, imagine being that big and that athletic, bro. Like, dog. It's crazy. Genetic freak. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. This is what they drafted him for. This is what they drafted him for. To be that dynamic duo with a D-Book. Another young duo. This man, Mitchell. Do you see where he had to go to get that? Oh, my God. Athletic. Like another athletic freak right there. Montrez. This is a great dynamic duo. Off the bench dynamic duo. The pick and roll is nasty. Sweet Lou to Montrezl. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Dennis Smith Jr. and Mitchell Robinson? I mean, okay. Didn't Dennis Smith Jr. ask for a trade? Or am I thinking about when he was in Dallas? I think I'm thinking about when he was in Dallas. My fault. Okay. Lonzo and Cal Kuzma. I mean, I guess that was a... A 25 win duo. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Ricky Rubio and Donovan Mitchell. Oh, Donovan Mitchell Rick and Rudy Gobert. Now, this one may not be a dynamic duo for much longer. I'm sorry, Jazz fans. I had to say it. But, uh, you, you know what went on. Mm. Mm. EB and Yanni. Behind the back, y'all knew it was coming. When you see Yanni's one on the floor, you got to get the ball to him because it's a guaranteed two points. That's a what well, Miles Bridges is, is is powerful. He he throws it down. Oh, okay, Ben Simmons go up and get it there. 
Go up again. Wait. Wait, wait. Go back to that. Was I at this game? I might have been at that game. No joke. I might have been at that game. I'm not e I'm not even trolling. I might have been at that game. Either way. All right, next. Oh, good D. Mo Bamba. Whoa. Whoa, Terrence Ross and Aaron Gordon. Shout out to Mo Bamba, though, man. Mo Bamba is one of my favorite players coming out of his draft class. And I still believe he's going to be good. But it's just taking a long time to develop. That's all. This is a nice dynamic duo. A wing dynamic duo. Yes, sir. He almost traveled. He almost traveled because he had nowhere to go with the ball. Luckily, the Magic are not very good. And uh, they gave him the easy bucket. Chris Paul and Steven Adams. Steven Adams is going to be like Marcin Gortat at the end of the day. Where like he just plays with so many elite point guards in his career that force feed him. That doesn't make him a bad NBA player. But when you're playing with, the, with these type of point guards, Russell Westbrook, Chris Paul type of point guards, you're going to get your buckets. You're going to get your buckets. Set hard screens and roll and they're going to find you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was nothing but net. Y'all heard that net? It said... Spencer Dinwiddie, who are you giving it to? Oh, another DeAndre Jordan one. Okay. Uh, maybe this was a connection. Maybe this was a connection that I just didn't see this season. Uh-oh. Give it to him. Steph, give it back. <laughs> just toying with them. Shout out to Drew Holiday because he always got the steal. He always got the steal. He's that smart of a player on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, Giannis. A little sidestep. There's literally nothing you can do about it. Literally nothing you can do about it. At all. Ah. Just at... Man. It's crazy to think how high some of these close to seven foot people be jumping, man. Boogie and Anthony Davis. I remember when Boogie got traded here. And people were tweeting out pictures of David Robinson and Tim Duncan. I was people. <laughs> I was people in that situation. Luke and Porzingis. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, that's another one. That's another one. Forget those draft picks they gave up. It don't matter because Porzingis is playing his butt off the last couple months. James Harden to Chris Paul. That was a good dynamic duo. I guess they butted heads and stuff. But on court, they played well together. One game away from being in the NBA Finals. One game away. What a pass. But again... I've seen the same five Malik Monk dunks on this channel a thousand times. Bruno Caboclo, don't jump, my G. Actually, I respect you for jumping. I respect you. Not many people were going to jump in that situation. Devontae. Devontae's got some good vision, man. Devontae's got some real good vision. And like I said, this man just throws it down as hard as he can every time he jumps. Eric Bledsoe to... What a pass from Eric Bledsoe. What a pass. He drew three defenders and still found the man. That's an amazing pass. He's not known for his playmaker, but that time he just showed it off. Look at the center. Look at the center. Throwing the lob. To, full court. Mm. A full court one. Beautiful. Here's another Porzingis Luka one. 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Seven, just ridiculous, bro. The people that go to my gym, they be 6'5 with no hops. That man is 7'3 with bunnies. It doesn't make sense. It literally doesn't make sense to me. And I'm sitting at 5'8. I got bunnies, but I'm sitting at 5'8. And these people are 6 feet. Genetically, just got it, got it going on. I wish I could relate. I wish I could relate. Unfortunately, my, my dad is like 6'5'10 and my mom is like 5'1'. <laughs> So, you know what I'm saying? I just I just wasn't blessed like that. I am convinced. You cannot tell me otherwise than the dude that made these compilations is a Charlotte Hornets fan. It's too much Hornets. It's too much Hornets, bro. There's no reason for it to be that many Hornets highlights in any every video this at least two. Porzingis, what a three. What a three. Okay. Good pass, AG. Good cut from AG. Good pass from uh, Mark Hale. I guess I was misunderstood. I was thinking it was just going to be only dynamic duos. Another one. Sheesh. Lonzo's, Lonzo's playmaking is so ridiculous. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Show the speed in, D-Rose. Hit the overdrive. Never mind. Hit Christian Wood there. 
Hey, Christian Wood then. Shout out to them. I just did a video about this team uh, on my YouTube channel. The other YouTube channel. N not that YouTube channel. The other, other YouTube channel. You know we got three around here. What a pass. What a pass. Uh-oh. You know what's happening. You know what's happening. So many lobs. Somebody gonna have to count how many lobs the, the, this duo has at the end of their careers of playing together. The fro. Mm. Good pass by Spence. The fro. Having a hand-eye coordination to put that into play. The little, you see the fake pass to the, whoo. This man, Jaws, nasty. Mm. See it all. See it all. Oh, man. That just reminded me of something, bro. Wow. Let me, I hit the Google Notes, y'all. I hit the, I hit the Google Notes. That's, I just got reminded of something watching the John Moran clip. Boom. Simple. All right. So, yeah, this is a nice, I like this duo, but like I said earlier, I don't know how long it's going to last. Not because of coronavirus uh, stuff, but because Rudy Gobert is going to be up for a Supermax. And are you going to pay Rudy Gobert a Supermax? Because if I was a general manager and I love Rudy Gobert, he's my favorite center in the NBA on the court. Um, I'm not paying him a Supermax, personally. That's just me, though. Okay, Rondo to LBJ. They had their duels in their past, but now the teammates, and one of them is still really good. The other one, eh, he has his moments. He has his moments. I was at that game. Bro, I'm at all of these games. I was literally at that game in Indiana. I legit, I've, I think that Spencer Dinwiddie and DeAndre Jordan may be a better duo than I anticipated. I just saw him like four times this video. Anthony Davis. Tap up to LeBron. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's like a that's like a schoolyard play other than the fact that these dudes are monsters and can dunk the ball. But, you know, just tapping it above. Oh, Kevin Knox. All right, Kev. Big Kev. Bro, Kevin Knox looks like my friend, and his name is also Kevin. So every time I see him, it just throws me off. Because they, they look like twins, and they're both named Kevin? I guess it would make more sense if they're both last names were the same, that they were related, not the Kevin part. But it's weird to see two Kevins that look identical. But, but my friend is like 5'8", not 6'8". You know what I'm saying? All right, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. I know I did a lot of rambling, but that was fun. Other than the fact that um, too much Hornets.